Welcome into Golden State Warriors today. I am your host, Harrison Graham. Lots of stuff to get into. Free agency is underway. And of course, today's show is presented by our good friends at Manscaped. Go to manscaped.com slash chat. You'll get 20% off and free shipping at checkout. Trust me, they have a lot of very good products. So let's go ahead and get into some of the updates here. Well, Golden State hasn't really made any moves since free agency started just a couple of hours ago. Free agency opened uh, about two and a half hours or so ago now, and no moves as of yet. Obviously, Golden State uh, had a big draft the other night in which they took James Wiseman number two overall. They traded for Kelly Oubre uh, just a couple of, or just on Thursday. So they have done some stuff this offseason, but no uh, signings or no official moves since free agency got going just a few hours to go. And uh, probably that's going to change, right? Like it's been a slow start to NBA free agency in general. I don't know if you've been keeping up with us on our main chat sports YouTube channel, but Tom Downey and Jimmy Crowther have been breaking down every single move. And uh, I'm going to break down everything uh, Warriors related, all the rumors and news flying around Golden State as of now. But I want to ask you this question first before we get into today's video deeply. Name a player you want Golden State to sign. Go ahead and cast your votes down in the comment section. Who is a player you want Golden State to go ahead and bring on board? Go ahead and let me know what you guys think down in the comment section. And while you are doing that, get subscribed to Golden State Warriors today. We've been plugging out multiple videos per day, basically, since Wednesday night's draft, breaking down the latest news, rumors, everything that is happening with the Golden State Warriors. It's youtube.com slash Warriors TV. We just crossed 6,000 subs. Let's keep it going. Let's stay on the momentum train. Lots of stuff to cover this offseason as it's always hectic in the NBA. So go ahead and subscribe and join this movement here on Golden State today. So the latest rumors, let's get into some trade rumors slash trade ideas. Obviously, Clay Thompson is expected to miss uh, the entire season with that ruptured Achilles. More on uh, Clay here in just a few minutes. But uh, how about the idea of trading for a shooter to replace him. Fan sided threw out a couple of players that I thought were worth mentioning. Let's go ahead and start here with Eric Gordon uh, as the Rockets appear to be uh, considering blowing everything up uh, down in Houston. So I actually don't hate this idea. Doesn't have, I think he just has the one year left on his contract. You could bring him on board as kind of a secondary playmaker and a guy who's a good catch and shoot guy as well, playing next to Steph Curry. He's also uh, played six man a lot of the time in his career. Been a Six men coming off the bench at times with the Rockets uh, and with some other teams as well. Only shot 37% from three uh, this past season. But I think that uh, in Golden State, uh, historically, they have much better uh, ball spacing. And I think that, uh, that he would be uh, a lot better in that system and more efficient as well. Trading for Eric Gordon is something I'm very, very intrigued about. By the way, ball spacing, if you want to clear up your entire ball area, Manscaped is the place to do it. Go to manscaped.com slash chat. Get 20% off plus free shipping. Get the lawnmower 3.0. I've told you guys about this item a couple of times. I spent years trying to find the right razor to shave in that those uncomfortable areas, and I just I gave up on it. And then I found these guys at Manscaped, and they're like, come on, just give us a chance. I'm like, okay, I'll buy the lawnmower 3.0, and it changed my life, and I got it for 20% off. So I went to manscaped.com slash chat. At 20% off, no tug, no razor burn, all that good stuff. My wife is a big fan as well because, you know, if you have a significant other and uh, it's time to get down and dirty, having Manscaped is a good thing. There is no doubt about that. So get going with Manscaped. Take advantage of all of their good products for 20% off when you go to manscaped.com slash chat. Like I said, you'll get 20% off and free shipping when you check out. All right, how about J.J. Redick? He was also mentioned uh, as a potential trade target for the Golden State Warriors. Obviously an older player, but still a sniper from three-point range. Not going to give you the defense that a Clay Thompson will give you. There's uh, there's no doubt about that. You're not replacing Clay's D. You're hoping Kelly Oubre can do some of that as well. I should mention, yes, uh, I am acknowledging that this team is trade for Kelly Oubre, and he could start. Uh, but bringing a shooter on board, a better three-point shooter, is something I think the Golden State Warriors uh, could at least consider and could at least uh, entertain if they as they try to uh, you know make up for losing Clay Thompson because you're not going to fully replace him, but maybe if you can replace some of that shooting at least on offense, uh, that would be something uh, that would be very beneficial to this Golden State Warriors team. As of now, this is kind of how it sits: Steph Curry, Andrew Wiggins, Kelly Oubre, Draymond, and. 
James Wiseman. And what is what does that lineup lack? It lacks snipers on the outside. Eric Gordon and J.J. Redick are two guys, in my opinion, that could come on board and help space the floor and could really score the basketball, especially from three-point range. Those are two guys I have a lot of interest in. And I think if Golden State uh, uh, is serious about winning this season, then uh, I think that is something that they should consider as well. So we have to wait and see. Again, NBA free agency just underway, so we will see what moves they make. And I promise we will break it down here on Golden State Warriors today. We talked about two veteran shooters. Pick one. If you could have either one, who would you go after? Type EG for Eric Gordon. Type JJ for JJ Redick. Let me know which shooter you would rather bring on board if you were in charge of the Golden State Warriors. Go ahead and cast your votes down in the comment section. Now, Bob Myers discussed Clay Thompson earlier today and then got pretty emotional doing it, saying, look, it hurts me, it hurts our organization. Uh, talked a, for a long time about uh, Clay Thompson and a couple of other topics, including one Kai Bowman, who we will talk about just in a couple of minutes. But as you guys know, as we've, as we've covered uh, several times already now, Clay is expected to miss the entire season here for Golden State, which is just a bummer because Bob Myers brought up the point that uh, uh, Clay Thompson is one of the few guys in the NBA that really everyone likes. Everybody likes Clay Thompson, so losing him is a big deal. Here's a deeper quote from him saying, I've watched him grow into a man. I've watched him win championships. I've watched him lose. Uh, I've watched him hurt himself in the NBA Finals. I've watched him rehab. I'm going to watch him rehab again. I've watched him break the NBA record for three-pointers in a game. That's how you get to know somebody. So, yeah, it hurts. And, yeah, there's no replacing Klay Thompson. I've talked about J.J. Redick, Eric Gordon. Hopefully uh, um, Kelly Oubre is a guy who's going to be able to replace some of what he brings. But, look, I, I know the Warriors kind of tanked last year. They said they're not going to tank this year. But they tanked last year because they lost Clay and they lost Steph, and they knew they couldn't replace him. Now you've lost Clay, So, uh this is definitely a big, fat bummer for the Golden State Warriors, and uh, hopefully they were able to pick up the pieces and try and figure things out. If you hate injuries, type H. Just type H in the comment section. No one likes injuries, regardless of uh, who the player is, how we feel about them. No one wants to see a major injury like this, so go ahead and spam H down in the comments because this really is a big bummer for the Golden State Warriors, and I hope that they are able to pick up the pieces. I hope Clay can get back and get healthy and return to the basketball court very, very soon. One more news item the Warriors did announce today that Kai Bowman will be released, has been released, so uh, he is off the roster, which surprised me maybe a little bit, not a ton, uh, but I thought he did play fairly well for Golden State this past season. thought he did some good things, because remember, the Warriors are basically rolling out a, a G League uh, lineup by the end of the year due to the amount of injuries uh, that they had. And Kai Bowman was one of those guys who actually came and played very well. Seven and a half points, uh, three rebounds, dished out about three assists per game as well. But he is now off the roster. And what this tells me is that Nico Mannion, the second round pick uh, in the NBA draft, a playmaker out of Arizona, I think he's going to get an opportunity uh, to play right away as a rookie, be a playmaker off this bench. Uh, which good opportunity for him and obviously a higher ceiling than a guy like Kai Bowman. So Nico Mannion probably uh, playing his way into that rota rotation as uh, the Warriors decide to move on from Kai Bowman. So there you go. Got some rumors, got some news. Not a ton of free agency uh, uh, traction yet for Golden State or really many teams so far in the NBA. So we will update you guys here on the channel just as soon as anything happens. Make sure you subscribe. So you never, ever miss a video here on Golden State Warriors today.